There you go. Y'all figured it out there. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Well, yeah, we got our cords your first time in the race car. Oh what do you think Welcome about Welcome to see Dashing Cars. Welcome to Dashing Cars. Put a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and subscribe. That's my man. My hype and man. And especially save it.
one, two. So you probably wonder where I've been. Some of you probably don't really wonder where I've been. I've, uh, I've learned through this channel that you guys don't need a, an apology for me when I'm not around. And uh, I don't want to make this too long-winded, so. I've been uh, I've been working on a lot of stuff. I kind of uh, bought a rally car. And I, uh, you know, I always say don't ever plan for the future. And I don't think more than a couple of months in advance when it comes to my life right now because you have no idea what could pop up, what could change at all. So with that being said, I, I bought a 89 CRX uh, stage car. And I've, I've, I've actually filmed this car before at Ojibwe last year. And I remember seeing it there and long story short, right time, right place, it popped up for sale. And a good friend of mine, uh, Roberto, actually tagged me in it. And then I had a few other people tag me in it. And they said, you gotta get this car if you don't get this car. And usually that's said all the time in North America Rally Group on uh, Facebook, but well, I, I followed through because I don't disappoint. That's not my uh, not my MO. So basically, that, yeah, that, there it is. There's going to be a whole series on this thing. The all drive CRX is still a thing. It's still going on. It's on pause right now just because it was a, uh, let's see if we can't push and get this for Rallycross. But the Rallycross effort's going to be on block. It's going to be times, times, because I'm going to do some shakedown with this after I get it tore down, kind of go through things, but I didn't want to touch it yet until I showed you guys this, show you where it's at. So let's come on down from that and let's take a tour. This car was, uh, it's all ready to go really. It, it uh, had a small running issue that I may have actually solved on the, uh, they parked this car for the season, they were getting ready and they're gonna get it ready for the 2021 season. And all of a sudden it just wouldn't go over 2,500 RPMs. It would just stutter, it would fall flat, it wasn't getting any fuel. No idea what it was. I have zero idea. They didn't have any idea. They got tired of messing with it. The uh, ARO passed new regulations to where you have to have a fire suppression system along with rally safe in the car. And uh, long story short, they just decided we're done keeping up with it. We don't want to have to go deal with it. They want to just start renting a rally car, which is a very good option. I know several people who rent cars and who have rented cars. And it's a great program for those who just want to get in the sport. Not have to worry about it, don't have to worry about upkeep, don't have to worry about anything. They just want to go and drive and show up at the event. But this is my now ARA legal caged rally car. I have been working so hard to get to this point, and I'll, I'll go over that in a future video. I don't want to get through whole that. Let's just kind of take a quick tour. So the cage was done at a uh, local shop there in Fargo. Uh, I talked or I, I talked to the guys who own the shop, and I've seen the, the work they've done. And looking around at all the welds and everything else in here, it looks really, really well done. I didn't see anything that was like, ugh. The only thing back here that I would like to do is on this, I would like to put a top plate here, maybe side there. But again, this video is not going to be really uh, what I'm going to do to it. It's more of a, hey, what's it look like now? The car itself is in great shape. It's got a Holly ECU, Holly EFI uh, version 5 ECU. It's got a Holly screen. It's got the kill switch. It's pretty neat. It's a really cool setup. It's got the RJS uh, a racing harness. It's a really nice racing harness in date till the uh, December next year. Nice Sparco seats. They're good and comfy. I would like to get the halos eventually, but that's not a huge deal right at this moment. 
I've got the halos over there that I got from Earl that I may recover and put in here, but I haven't decided just yet. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible so I don't waste your time and I can get back to work. But here is the heart of the beast. It is a B18B1 block with a built GSR head with, as you can see, coil and plugs. So it's a really nice uh, built head. They talked to me a little bit about the machine work that's gone into it. The uh, spring containers, all that stuff is all aftermarket. It's a, it's a pretty good ripper. It pulled hard. It cracked really loud VTEC. So I'm pretty excited about that. You can see it's got the AEM coil and plug whole kit. Uh, this is going to be cleaned up a little bit. I just put that plate back on for now. Uh, it's got the bigger Skunk 2 radiator. You can see here where the uh, tree actually hit. So I actually ball whacked the tree pretty good there. And that was the reason it retired from the last rally. But besides that, uh, the transmission's been rebuilt with uh, new synchros and everything else. And it shifts like butter. It's very, very smooth. Very, very happy with that so far. As you can see here, you see a little bit of damage there from the uh, tree strike, but nothing too bad. There's a few dents in the hood. Uh, a little light bar. Came with tons of spares. It's got gravel tires on it. It's got a, it came with a mountain of uh, different suspension setups and knuckles and everything else because that's just kind of the kind of stuff you get when you go rally. As you can see all in there, lots of great aftermarket stuff, lots of great replacement stuff. If you know me, you know this has been the dream for a very long time. And well, I cannot wait to get started. The tentative date is uh, Show Me Rally in uh, November. I'm gonna try to get this car ready for that. That's the running plan right now. It's kind of an aggressive schedule with uh, the crazy summer I have lined up. And like I said, I don't like to plan too far in advance, but that's, I do want to have a goal and that's my a goal right now. Uh, I've had a few guys reach out for being a co-driver and uh, I, I don't know, I'll make a closer to this time decision on that because the first co-driver is gonna mean a lot to me. It doesn't, I mean, I mean, always, everything about this whole first rally is going to mean a ton to me and the channel and the fact that you guys have been following along. And uh, I'll get you guys caught up real soon on uh, what's been going on and where I've been and why I haven't uploaded much in the last, I guess, two months. It's been a long hiatus, but it's uh, it's been needed. But uh, it's back to camera time and I need some uh, camera therapy and I, I miss you guys a lot. So let's uh, let's get this thing back together. And uh, with all that, I know that's a lot to chew on right off the bat, but... Yeah, I drove to Fargo this weekend to go pick it up, 2,300 miles, and uh, now it's home. So That's uh, what all the uh, secretiveness has been around Instagram and Facebook about what am I doing? What are I... Most people kind of figured it out. It's I wasn't too secretive about it, obviously. But anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know some ideas. I don't know if I should name it, but uh, I'm always open to uh, suggestions. So... I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Miss you guys a lot. And uh, I'm going to be picking up the camera a lot more in the next few weeks. So, see you guys. Peace.